Hey everybody and welcome to Exoplanet Q and Alien. Today we're going to be talking about something really cool called direct imaging. Direct imaging is a fairly new method of finding exoplanets. It hasn't been until recently that telescope technology has advanced to the point where it's possible. From a basic perspective, direct imaging is essentially taking pictures of exoplanets, but it's a lot more complicated than that. You see, Earth's atmosphere is constantly moving around and distorting the light that comes from objects in space. It's the reason that stars seem to twinkle in the night sky. In order to get around this, scientists use a system called adaptive optics, which uses a segmented mirror that can change its shape hundreds of times per second. The atmosphere is only part of the problem, though. Planets are millions of times dimmer than the bright stars they orbit, and they're very far away. Seeing an exoplanet is kind of like seeing a firefly flying around a spotlight from the other side of the country. To solve this problem, scientists use an instrument that blocks out the light of a faraway star in the same way that the moon blocks the light of the sun during a solar eclipse. Right now, scientists and engineers at NASA are working on two different methods for doing this. Coronagraphs, which are already being used in ground-based observatories, block starlight after it enters a telescope. An external starshade, on the other hand, would be a separate spacecraft that blocks light before it even enters the telescope. Either way, these instruments have the same goal, blocking the light of a faraway star in order to see the planets that are orbiting it. Right now, the best pictures we can take of exoplanets still look pretty blurry and blobby, but we're just getting started. Future space telescopes may be so powerful that they can see stuff on exoplanets like continents and oceans and vegetation. That's all for this Q&A. Be sure to check out the PlanetQuest website for the latest exoplanet news, images, and videos from NASA.